Hey guys, welcome all to another learning support video. Um, today we're going to start today's video by having a look at um, a video that's been all over social media uh, in the last couple of months. So let's jump straight in. Hey guys, and don't stress too much if you guys aren't understanding what's going on right now. I haven't done any explanation on it so far. I'm going to go into more explanation in further detail in the video. So just stay tuned if you guys want to find out exactly what's going on in this video. Hey guys, so what you guys are seeing in this video is what is called the Chinese stick method for multiplication. And although it seems wildly complicated, it's actually really, really simple. So how does it work? So let's first start with one digit numbers, as it's a very, very simple method for the one digit numbers. So let's look at the example 5 times 3. So step 1 is to take the first number and draw the same number of diagonal lines denoted by the number. So you see here, I drew 5 diagonal lines from left to right. Okay. Step 2, we do the same with the second number, except in the opposite direction. So you see now I took the 3 lines and I put them in the opposite direction. So from right to left instead. Next, we count all these intersections. And if you go count them, you'll find that the answer is five of four, five times three is equal to 15. But you guys would have probably been able to get that anyway. So what about two digit numbers then? So like an uh, example like 14 times 32. This is a bit more complicated and you guys might struggle to do it straight off the top of your head. So let's go look how the Chinese method actually helps us do these types of problems. So step one is to take the 10 from the first number, so from 14 to take the 10, and to draw the lines denoted by that number diagonally. So because it's a 10, it's only one 10, you draw one diagonal line from left to right. Then next, we leave a little bit of space, and then we draw the four diagonal lines denoted by the units, guys. Then step three, we have to do the same for the other side, guys. So then we take the three, because the 10 is 30, so then we draw three lines for the 10. Then we leave a little space, and we draw two lines for the two. Okay. So then once you've done this, now the next thing we do is that we have to draw lines separating the groups of intersections. And an important rule to remember to us is that if we are multiplying um, two digit numbers, then the middle group, the middle uh, number will consist of two groups of intersections. And what you can see here is that when I have drawn the lines, is that this middle group has two groups of intersections. It has four and three intersecting up here, and it has one and two intersecting down here. And then also, with, if we multiply three digit numbers, then it will be the third group that will have three groups of intersections in the middle. So, next, you will count down the number of intersections in each group. So, by doing this, you'll find that there's three intersections in the first group, there is 14 in the second, and there is eight in the third. But now, we need to do something a little bit extra before we can give the final answer, because 14 times 32 is definitely not 3,148. So what you do is, is that if the number of intersections in a section is greater than 10, we remove the 10 and add 1 to the number in the left. So let's first look at the 8. Okay, so the 8 doesn't have a 10, so we can take it straight down, so we move it down there. We have here in the second group, we have 14. So 14 has a 10 at the back. And because it's only one 10, okay, you move the 4 down and you add the 1 to the 3. So now because it's 3 plus 1, if you get 4 down there. So then the final answer will therefore equal 4, 4, 8. So now let's go have a look at how we can even do this with larger numbers. So looking at the three-digit numbers. So now let's look at 341 times 125. So as usual, our first step is to draw the first numbers diagonal lines. So the 3, then the 4, then the 1. Then obviously the second step is to do it in the opposite direction for the second number. So then the 1, then the 2 lines, then the 5. Now, this is where it gets a little bit more complicated, guys. It's because now we need to draw our lines separating the intersections. But remember the rule I said earlier, guys, is that if it's a 3-digit number times by a 3-digit number, then the middle group will therefore have three intersections. And so now you see I've already drawn the line here. So you see this middle group has intersection group one. So it's only one intersection there, but it's still a group. So group one, 
group two, so you see them over there, and group three. So then that's how you know that that's going to be your middle group. Then the two ones to the side will have two groups of intersection, and then the ones on the end will obviously only have one group of intersection. So now we total up all the intersections of each group. We find in the first one, we only have three intersections. In the second, we have 10. In the third, we have 24. In the fourth, we have 22. And in the fifth, we have fifth. So once again, guys, the answer is obviously not, uh, I don't even know what this answer is. Uh, it looks like somewhere in the millions. Uh, it's obviously not 31 million, uh, 24,000. Uh, 225. It's obviously we need to do something more chain. And remember what I said, guys, that if we have tens, we have to remove the 10 and add it to the previous number. So let's look at the first group. We have five here. So there's no 10 with the five, so we can move the five straight down. But now look here in the second group, we have 22 intersections. So now what we do is we move the two down. And now because we have the two left over, what we need to do is that we need to add this to the unit over here. So that four now becomes a six. So now you can take the six down and then look, we still have the 20 over here. So there's still a two here. So the two goes there. So now that becomes 12. So then you take the two down. So they become the two at the bottom. Then we still have the one. So the one still has to move across to the three. So then it's three plus one, which equals four. So then you will find that your final answer is 42,625. And you guys can double check on your calculator and you'll find that that is the exact answer you'll find on your calculator. Thanks all for watching another learning support video. Uh, please, as always, please leave a like and subscribe. And also let me know in the comments if there's anything else you would like to see me do next, guys. Uh, thanks, guys. I will see you guys all next time on Fat Friday.